Hi sweets and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you. My name is Yancy and I'm a professional makeup artist and also I am a nail technician. And today I wanted to use the other palette that I got from Alter Ego. This is a really affordable brand and with really good quality by the way. I'm using for the two looks that I'm gonna show you, the Sahara palette. This is the unique card of the palette. It's kind of a velvety feeling to it. I really like the art of the packaging. And on the actual palette itself, it also has the same art as in the unique card. It has the same feeling to the packaging. It is actual cardboard as well. And on the back of it, it has the names of all the eyeshadows. When you open it, it has a mirror in one side and in the other this is my bad this is the color story it comes from the Biba palette from Natasha Denona I don't have that palette but I have heard a lot that this was a really good quality and it is really similar to the color story of that palette which I'm gonna grab at some point for myself it is a 15 pen eyeshadow palette it has only three metallics and the other 12 are matte shades you can get all of the neutral looks that you will need this is more an everyday work related casual formal palette meaning that you can get a lot of looks from it in my opinion this is an excellent quality palette it weights a little bit but not much it is travel friendly I didn't use one, two, I didn't get the opportunity to use just four shades. I'm only talking about 11 of them, but all of the ones that I use, they work really nicely. They brought a lot of opacity, a lot of color payoff. They were, they were really easy to blend, user-friendly. You don't need a high skill set to use this palette. I use brushes and I use my finger. I only use my finger to apply the metallics, the mattes, I only use brushes by the way. Also, I always prep my lid. I use the Milani eyeshadow primer for the two looks and I really like the two looks that I came with. Without any more rambling, we're gonna go to the looks. The first one that you're gonna see, I started, as I said previously, with my Milani eyeshadow primer. I started with the shade Savannah, which is a matte shade. This is the color of it. This one, I applied it above my natural crease because I can use my natural crease. I have downturned eyes, so I have to lift my eye in some way. Then I went to the shade Fox to intensify a little bit of my outer corner, and I applied it over late Savannah. Then to intensify the look, I went with the shade Sierra. This has a little bit of a mauve kind of undertone to it. And this one, I, I tap it in my outer corner to really give a definition to the look. Also, I applied Sierra and my bottom lashes, really on top of my bottom lashes. For my mobile lid, I went with the shade Jewel and I press it in with my ring finger on the two thirds of my mobile lid that I haven't applied anything from my inner corner towards more than the half of my mobile lid. Blend my under eye, I went with the shade of Dub on top of Sierra just to blend my bottom lashes. I did kind of a wing liner, but I use the Appeal Gel Liner in the taupe and I didn't go all over my lid. I just started in the middle of my lid and then I lifted up a little bit. And to make sure that I really did a wing, I used a brush to extend the liner. And also I applied this same liner in the half of my bottom lashes and I smudged it with the rest of my eyeshadows. For my inner corner, I used the Ciate London. This is the confetti highlighter. I really love this highlighter. I was really impressed with it. I thought that it was going to be too dark for my complexion, but it turned out to be a perfect match. So everything worked 
wonderful. I got a long lasting eye look, really good color payoff. The only thing is that you have to be careful every time you apply any of this shadow because you will have a little bit of fallout in your under eye. Also with the metallics, you will need, and I forgot today, to apply a thin layer of powder if you do your complexion first as I do. If you do your eye first, you, won't, you will have only to clean up with a wipe as soon as you finish your for today's look, which is the one that I'm wearing right now, I started prepping my lid as always, and I used the Milani eyeshadow primer. Then I went with the shade Slate. This one, I use a more dense brush to pack it into my lid. And I try to make sure that I got a, a little bit of this eyeshadow in my crease. Then I went with the shade Clay with a all over brush and I pressed it over laying Slate and they blend seamlessly. I didn't even have to put a little bit of effort into blending these two shades together. They did the job perfectly. Then I went with the shade Raven. And this one, I used the same brush that I used with Slate to press it in into my outer corner, into one third of my mobile lead, starting my outer corner and then going through the inner part of my lead. Try to apply it going over my crease and I blended it just a little bit with a blending brush. Then I went with the shade Mesa and this one I really pressed it in into my outer corner because I just wanted it there. I didn't want to darken it a lot at this look. I work it in diagonal like trying to go towards my eyebrow blended it a little bit because with this shadows you don't need to put a lot of effort in the blending part also i apply raven in my bottom lashes just to the half of my bottom lashes and i apply with a flat brush a little bit of mesa on top but really on top of my bottom lashes just to one third of it in my mobile lead, I went with the shade Mirage and I apply it with my rim finger overlaying Raven. And to brighten my inner corner, I went with the shade Jewel and I work it towards my mobile lead to blend Mirage and Jewel into one another. I also apply this in the bottom part of my inner corner. And to blend all of my bottom part, I went with the shade clay all over my bottom part from starting to ending. I did a little bit of a liner and I went with the Jante Blue Long Lasting Intense Black Color in the shade Update Your Eyes. This has glitters in it or shimmers, I don't know which, which word you prefer to use. The point is that I did the same liner that I did in the first look from the half of my mobile lead towards the end of it and I use a brush to flick the wing. I didn't apply it in my bottom part. I curl my lashes and apply mascara in both of the looks and I use the CoverGirl Exhibitionist mascara. And today I have a little bit of a bold lip instead of having a nude one. What these two look have in common is that they are neutral. Also, they were really easy to blend, and I used the, as you already may know, I used the same eyeshadow palette, which I highly recommend if you are in the search for a palette. This is a really good and affordable one, if I may say so myself. So, sweets, I hope you like it, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I really appreciate it. And if you want to get notified every time I upload a video, press the notifications bell. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.